think I have fallen in love with my sister-in-law. He goes, okay, yeah, I'm screwed, I know. Shut up. Ugh. My sister-in-law was at that time already dating her husband, so it's not like she was an option anyway. She was never an option, period, you f***ing rat. What? Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't like it. Come on, come on. I'm kind of eating with this little blue. Little angels, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, I go by Zangy Does. I do hair videos and life advice videos. If you want to see any of those, playlists are on the screen. <sighs> Everything on my channel is organized. Okay, everything's organized. You can find any video you're looking for. They're in their playlist. Period. If you clicked on today's video, obviously you're here for the Zangy Does tea. And Zangy Does me, and only talking a little bit about some things and things this is your first time seeing me here on youtube i go by zangie does like i said i do hair videos and life advice videos and if you clicked on today's video this is a zangie does chat zangie does tea series i have three series on my channel i have a hair video series where you follow me along in my hair journey i have a zangie does chat series where it's a podcast weekly episode period advice you know life advice big sister advice and then what you're watching today is zangie does tea and that is my advice series but i'm reading people's stories that's the difference that's the difference and i need some water i need some water i've been filming content all day and that's the problem with this camera it gets out of focus when i do anything anything like go right relax relax sis okay so with that being said today you're watching a new episode of Ninja Does Tea and what I do is I read stories and I get advice so my main goal is to have submissions to my email listed below on the screen but for right now because the channel is still a little baby channel we don't get really as many submissions as I would like to and that's fine because I know we gotta hustle to get to where we want period but in the meantime I read reddit stories and I make sure that all of these stories are allowed to be read and yeah every episode of zangita's tea i read three three to four but usually recently it's been three three stories so today we're gonna get right into it i'm very excited let me move this out of the way i'm excited how have y'all been i was a little debriefing in the beginning if you're watching this how my first cruise guys my first cruise vacation <laughs> And I'm excited. I'm nervous. I don't really know what to expect. Like, I'm we just met so many nice people. But like, I came here and I just feel like I don't want to leave. Like, it's really sweet. I don't know what to expect. Some people are like, "Girl, are you excited?" I'm like, "Girl, I don't even know what I am." So I clearly need the, need some sun because y'all see how pale I am. Like, I. I've never seen myself this white so I need some color I need some TLC and I'm going with my boyfriend and his family it's gonna be so fun and they're vets they are cruise veterans so I am like all set like I'm gonna get the ropes and everything so it's gonna be a great first time let's get into it let's get into it today I chose sister videos sister stories and i was just hanging out with my sister she is just so fucking funny and i don't know i had a lot of sister stories saved like i go on reddit a few times of the day just save a few that look good i don't really read these beforehand so there have been some times on camera where i read and i'm like sorry i wasted our time so hopefully that doesn't happen today but yes we have three hello not me kicking the whole camera like relax girl yeah so there have been times where i read a story and i'm like what just happened but let's hope that that doesn't happen today like i said i had a lot of stories saved and i was just kind of sorting through them and i was like girl let's get rid of some of these and i saw there was a lot of sister ones so let's get into it let's get started don't forget to leave some love before you leave like make sure you watch to the end before you make your judgments I always say, make sure you just watch the end before you start judging people, whatever. And you're welcome to leave your opinions down below while I read the story about what I read, what you think they should have done, things like that. And my email will be on the screen throughout the video so that you can submit if you feel compelled to. 
Let's read. Let's start with a, a cute one. She says, or he, whoever, am I the asshole for ignoring my half sister transferring to my school? Off the bat with the title, come on. So, I, 18 female, was pretty much ab- abandoned by my mom when I was a baby. Mm, yeah. She moved on with the new guy and had two kids, Tia, 15 female, and Ed, 13 male. I hope these are not real names, child. We all have the same last name because my mom didn't marry my dad or their dad. When I was seven, they moved away and my mom never called or anything. She just phoned on my birthday, if she remembered it, and sent birthday cards with the cash and a picture of her and her family. No comments. I saw my grandma till last year when she died because my dad didn't want me to lose a link to my mom. Mm. After grandma died, my mom got her house and they moved back and got their kids got admitted into the same school I go to. Why the fuck did she do that? Um, I've said this on my channel before. It's no secret. I have siblings on different, a lot of brothers and sisters from other mothers. I'm, this, I'm a neutral sibling. I don't really have any animosity towards my siblings. Um, one tried me. We'll talk about that another day. But what I want are all of them in the same school as me. No. It's all love. It's all love. But no. I, I don't think I'd want that. So I, I feel her pain. It's like, what? And she already got some feelings already about it. So it's like, why would, she, why would the mom do that? Like, uh, let's be for real. I saw my grandma till last year when she died okay well we're all in different grades so shouldn't be an issue right i can just avoid them well apparently tia was really good at basketball so somehow she got onto the seniors team even though usually it's only grade 12 and 11. tia and ed have reached out to me but i quickly stopped acknowledging them at all beyond passing to her during a game because i don't want to be their sister they have their perfect family. I don't want any of it anymore. Like it sucks so much to see my mom come to our games, drop her off, cheer her on. Uh, honestly, I dip from games right away if I see her in the stands because I don't want to talk to her. Okay. Mini intermission. So I have a sibling. No names. I respect all of. Um, and this sibling is my bestie now. And we never had like beef anyways. But... I had the sibling that had a perceived notion that our family was a perfect one and you know I mean it could it could look that way when you live with both parents and y'all live in a good place doesn't seem like people are fighting doesn't seem like this doesn't seem like that seems like oh everyone's in good schools everyone does good grades your mom is nice and when we really sat down I was like shit ain't sweet it looks cute it's really easy to make sure shit look cute but when you win it it's not what you think and this sibling was very surprised to see how much we had in common and yes our struggles were a bit different but in the same way i could relate it wasn't like a oh you are so far ahead of me like you are so different from me that you would never understand and when we got to know each other and got closer it was kind of like a oh okay okay you you you're my girl like you get it you get it you know what i'm saying so for that i i wish op you know the person that posted this would give their siblings a chance just to see what's the tea you know and your mom ain't shit she's ugly for that um i have a parent i don't like to put them under the bus but i have a parent who ain't shit they both are kind of tough but um there's things that they do with other siblings that i'm like okay you know what i mean like i feel like we've all felt that way where it's like okay well we could have done this but you're choosing that sibling for what and it's like in reality if you're a parent and you pick and choose when to do this for one and when to you ain't shit like i'm sorry and i don't have kids so maybe it's different I'm, i'm coming from the lens of the child with um parents who like it's not your traditional family layout right and in the beginning I wasn't an outsider and it's like as I grow older I became one and it's like one thing about parenting is you need to be consistent period like that's just how I feel about that 
um, without saying too much and without saying too little. But I think, <laughs> not the camera, I think what really is nice about having siblings with the same ancient parent <laughs> is that sometimes the siblings are so different from that person. Like they try really hard not to be like that person because they know how shitty they are that they are way better anyways or they're like a really great friend who you share blood with like it's really fun sometimes um and I feel that way about my sibling where it's like yeah our situation's ass but you're so cool I'm so cool like we just click and we get it like we have a bond like no other and it's like better than a cousin it's better than a friend because it's like you're my literal sibling and we relate like we have this bond and it's not really a trauma bond, but it's more like um, we know what that is. We don't want to be like that. We want to be better people. And when we come together, we're better people. We have a great time. And I don't know, something about that makes my heart flourish. It makes me happy. So I wish you'd give your siblings a chance. And I hope that they're trying to give you a chance off the principle of giving you a chance and not because mom is saying to do so. But let's get back to the story. Things kind of came to a head this week because they were taking photos for the yearbook photo for the basketball team and they were taking them alphabetical order based on last name. Please. I do not want to even show up next to her in the yearbook. So when they have us all lined up, oh, hell no. Yeah, that's true. I told the PE teacher I was getting my surname changed to my dad's last name and got my place switched. Tia got really upset with me and after the pictures, she tried arguing with me and I just got mad and I told her to go complain to her mom and she called me an asshole for not wanting to be her sister. My friends are split with some saying I should give her a chance at least to avoid making things awkward and my mom, my dad tells me I should reach out to my mom but my cousins are all on my side and told me I did the right thing. What cousins are these? Are these cousins from mom or dad's side? Just wondering. It makes a difference. It does. It does. School is kind of tense so far because of it. I don't really know what to do or if I'm being an asshole. And some, she says, some people are saying to go to therapy and I do have a therapist. So let's read the comments first. You are not the asshole. You've been through a lot with your mom abandoning you, literally. And then now she's in your fucking face. Like, be for real. It's normal not to want her children in your life at 18 year at 18 years old you are living your teenage years and yeah it must be bizarre for half siblings to know that their mother love their mother abandoned their sisters but also show up for other ones yeah what the half sibling only gets mom's version of events. I'm sure it's painted a completely different way. Yeah, um, that's true. The kids that probably live with her probably don't know what you've been through. And probably that might be a reason why they're reaching out too. Because they're like, what's the big deal? Hello? Um, I always say in every episode, you don't know till you try. You don't know till you talk to people. You don't know like what people really are trying to do. What their intentions are. What they're trying to communicate. Unless you communicate. And for this, I definitely think that you should sit down and have a chat with them. For a portion of my life, I did have to sit down with certain people and tell them, like, it ain't what you think. It's cute. It looks cute, but it's not what you think. And they were like, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, with that being said, I don't think it hurts to find out what's the tea why they want to get close to you what do they want like what what's the tea what do you want really but other than that yes it was wrong for your mom to do that that's like definitely crossing boundaries and if that's her way of trying to come back into your life then she really thought she ate that because no like she actually did that horribly the other way around like she should have should have done something else with that so um with that being said i feel for you i can't we can't really say if the mom is lying to the siblings or not like maybe the mom said honestly i ain't shit um and i'm putting you in the school because i want to get back in her life and i want you guys to be nice to her and whatever but it's like and it's like clearly it's so bad that the dad and the mom don't even talk like there's a lot of unanswered questions here you know what i mean and it's like i feel for her <laughs> hello all in all i feel for this girl i do i do yeah Let's go to the next one. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, and it's like ignoring it. Uh, 
I think, I don't know if I would avoid those girls, the siblings in school or not. It's such a hard place to be in. I would definitely confront someone quick, though. Like, I know that because I'd be like, I'm being I'm being rude by ignoring certain people. And it makes it feel like you you have put me in that position. And I and like the dad to talk to your mom. It's like, why can't the dad talk to the mom and be like, why did you do that? Do you have a plan to talk to our daughter or what? Like, because what you're doing is really fucked up. You're in her fucking face. And it's not fair to her. Like, what do you guys think? Comment down below what you guys think. The mom got some nerve, though. Like, why would you do that? Am I bugging? No, I'm not. What? Okay. All right. The next story is story number two. I think I have fallen in love with my sister-in-law. It's the way that would never happen to me. I have a brother-in-law, and it's like, I know y'all didn't ask, but never. Never. Ugh. Let's read it. This is posted by a guy, by the way, and the sister-in-law is a girl. He's 26. She's 23. Okay, pushing it. He goes, okay, yeah, I'm screwed. I know. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. My wife and I got married in 2019 he put all these damn ages like all right we get it <laughs> my sister-in-law got married to her fiance back in july a year before that my wife and her sister are super close in part due to certain childhood experiences and trauma so i spent a lot of time with her even when dating that don't fucking matter it's not your business that don't mean go crush on her be for real he, he pissing me off. I'm already showing bias. Let me relax. When I started dating my wife back when I was in my 20s, my sister-in-law was 18. Oh, okay, I see. I see he's, he's a little... Hmm. I found my future sister-in-law kind of immature and childish, though I did find her bubbly. I really don't want to hear that. <laughs> though, when seeking a partner, I was a lot more attracted to my future wife's intelligence determination ambition public policy interests general focus in life she had gone through similar struggles in life and had similar goals and could relate very well especially when it came to intelligence ambition and the interests we both had goals we were working hard to achieve them looks are more of a bonus to me than anything else but since i know people will ask i would say at the time my wife would be considered a 10 and the sister-in-law would be a 6.5. Why are you rating an 18-year-old? And you're 20. You're nasty. I don't care if 18 is old. Shut up. Ugh. My sister-in-law was at that time already dating her husband. So it's not like she was an option anyway. She was never an option, period. You fucking rat. He pissing me off. Sometimes you can read these and be like, what an asshole. Like, shut up. Anyway, over time, as sister-in-law matured, she grew on me. We became good friends. It's like, did you, was you waiting for her to grow on you? Because that's the vibe you're giving me. It's nobody in my, my man's family. And I'm like, I'm waiting for her. I'm waiting for him to grow on me so I can get a little crush. No. The door open shut. Like, nice to meet you. Your cousin, period. Close. Like, it's... And if I don't like you, that'll mean, okay, I'm going to like you one day. Then we could maybe see something else. No. Like, what is he on? He's already on some shit. So, they became good friends, especially after he married his wife. In fact, outside of our respective spouses, my sister-in-law and I are each other's best friends. She's no longer the childish one. She is still a force of optimism and friendliness that can brighten any day and can show the light to anyone in a dark place you are in love with this bitch and you're disgusting me she's also the most kindest most caring sweetest person i've ever met is extremely athletic despite still being a bit scatterbrained she would make an excellent mother and is a natural with i don't give a fuck what has he said about his wife have y'all have y'all read anything about the wife here because i haven't she had a glow up 
like he's like she went from 6.5 to 8.5 my wife was a 10 now she's a 9 but really it was her maturing personality that did it after the pandemic hit things changed i became less interested in my career and while i was always a family man pre-covid my success came first but now family came first my baby fever has increased bitch oh would you know he got depressed and the sister-in-law was the only one there for him go to hell now i love my wife i love the moments we shared how we grew as a couple. I still love her as a friend and as a partner. So she's not your best friend? Mm. We spend quality time together and love each other. But there are times where I see that I have fallen in love with my sister-in-law as well. There's a certain loving embrace in her hug. A certain kindness in her voice. The way she can bring a smile in the darkest hour. I love my wife, but I've fallen in love with my already married sister-in-law. And I'm reading it like this because he's a fucking idiot. Like... The audacity, are you fucking serious? Let's read the comments, because I know. I know they're fucking eating you up. Jeez, you're a horrible person. You didn't say anything good about your wife. What did I say? Literally spent an entire post listing good things about the sister instead. It seems like you spend more time paying attention to what your sister-in-law does than your wife, which is probably why you can't really say much about your wife. Fucking bozo. From the sounds of it, you are already boarding an emotional affair with the sister. Yeah. And it's probably in a 100% chance that you're going to have a physical affair with the sister too if she let you. And he would. He would. She'd be like, do you want to kiss? And he'd be like, yeah. Like, fuck you. <laughs> He's so... I have my hands like this that whole time I was reading that because I just want to punch the shit out of him. Like, I'm sorry for the for the aggression. But what are you really fucking doing? What are you doing? You're weird as fuck. Everyone's, which I didn't peep, everyone's like, you're literally emotionally cheating on your girl, but okay. Someone said, what it sounds like you're describing is that you mistaken the closeness and support during your low time as falling in love. I wouldn't be surprised if she don't love you back. This woman was nurturing and warm to you when you needed it, and instead, you turned it into something else. Your sister-in-law clearly loves her husband. You need to pull it together here, get out of your fantasy before you destroy four lives. You said it's literally not physical, but then you started pointing numbers out. I will stay away from your wife and the sister. Listen, all I have to say is I agree with the comments. Comment down below what you think. I'm not nice about people cheating. I'm really not. I've said this before. I've become more open-minded about why people do it, whatever. But I think cheating is such a deception. So fucking unnecessary. I grew up seeing it. And I'm not going to list details of where and how. But there's so many other ways out. And the fact that you're already emotionally cheating, you pissed me the hell off. Um, Go see a therapist. Like, get it together. The fact that you've been fiending since she was 18 and you're literally very much grown. Like, my thing is, and I, I don't know what it's like to like somebody, but um, but kind of kind of also like their sibling. Like, can somebody f fill me in or something? Like, what am I missing here? It's like, they're similar. Maybe they look alike. But it's not the same person. Now, if they were twins, I guess that's a whole other ballpark. Are they twins? No, no. But when you're twins, your personalities are so different. Like, I don't... I feel like you really didn't like this girl as much as you thought you did. And that's why it was so easy for you to like somebody else closer to her who's kind of like her. Are you, do you like the idea of her and not really her? Like, I don't really... Like, I'm speechless. And I'm clutching the shit on my hands and I'm just like, what the fuck did I just read? Not in a like, okay, that story suck ass, but it's kind of like, how do people get to this point in life? And she's your, she's technically her sister. You guys are legally siblings. In laws. Forget about it. Move on. Go see a therapist. Get a divorce. Like, what do you need? Like, what? Like, I'm pissed. What? Someone said, get over your crush and stop hanging out with the sister-in-law you're just horny it's also like yeah it's like something's wrong let's be real let's calm down let's calm down and let's, an let's analyze you need to i think you need to go to couples therapy because there's an emotional affair already there so there's that 
Um, I think therapy needs to happen. I think a, I think you need to tell your girl. I don't know. Maybe y'all disagree with me. Let me know down below. You need to tell your girl and then work on it because it's gonna require you not hanging out with the sister anymore or more or less you guys know what i mean like i don't know like once something like that happens you have to kind of like take several steps back and something's missing something's missing and you're risking a lot and that is such a horrible place to be in but if you don't want to do couples therapy go to therapy by yourself and figure out what the hell is going on and why you feel this way what is it that you couldn't get from your wife that you feel like you got from another person who happened to be the worst person nearby and figure it out like i believe in you but like you're really you're being really shitty right now i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it to you and you need therapy some things and not in like you're weird or not not weird but like you're not like a, you are, you have a little loose screws like whatever because that's not your blood sister but still it's like boundaries you know that's off limits period and to me it seemed like from the jump he was feeling that so it's like why you know i don't know it's hard to feel bad for you like you could if you need help with thought stopping then definitely it's therapy time because it's like you guys know what i mean comment down below this one got me like a little shook a little like goosebumps hopefully they figure that out because and hopefully that your girl don't go through your phone and see that because you're gonna be like this reddit post she's gonna be like what the fuck is going on literally okay last story of the day i hope you guys liked the video so far make sure to show some love show some love okay last video is a long one so let's get into it the title is my family doesn't understand oh i see the my light is starting to dim over here my family doesn't understand i want no contact with my little sister i'm 26 i have a little sister who's 23 we grew up together she was the one who understood me the most she was there for me and i was there for her too when i was in high school i met a boy steve who's 30 baby that looks better <laughs> um steve was cool he treated me nicely and I fell for him. He was my brother, 30, classmate. Classmate and y'all 30? I don't, are we in college? I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Steve was my first love. Oh, <laughs> we dated for a while, but when we were in our last year of high school, I found, I know I wasn't 30 in high school. Like, what's going on? Okay. I found chats between Steve and my sister. They were calling each other babe. I was angry, heartbroken. I confronted my sister. She denied everything. Oh, not the lying. My brother found out. He gave my sister a nice beating. What the fuck? Like, brother needs to relax. Go beat up Steve. Like, what do you hit your sister for, you fucking bozo? And then they broke up. <sighs> a few years later, I got a text from a number. It was Steve. He wanted to meet up. He said he got my no my number from facebook i was kind of happy because i still loved him he was the one who took my v card wait okay because i was confused steve was fucking around with both sisters at the same time and that's period now why didn't the brother beat up both the girls but besides that he shouldn't be beating nobody up you should be checking steve because why the fuck are you talking about my sisters i don't and I'm assuming he beat up the other sister because it's like, you know, she dating so-and-so, so why the fuck? But Steve ain't shit. Steve ain't shit. So we dated for a while. Um, he took my V card. We met up, talked for a while. And after that, we were official again. We started having small arguments, which we would break up and get back together. And this happened like four times. I noticed my sister would give me the silent treatment and avoid me when I got back together with Steve. She would go back to her normal self when we broke up. Y'all both need to stop talking to this guy, period. Like, I don't even know what's up for discussion. It was really hard and frustrating as a teenager. I mentioned securities about my sister. And Steve and her went silent for three months. 
I will never understand people who get ghosted and they're literally dating, like boyfriend, girlfriend. If my boyfriend, let's say I didn't live with him, if I was in my own crib, he decided to stop talking to me for three fucking months, you're dead to me. Oh, you died? Okay, period. I'm moving on. Oh, we broke up? You didn't say nothing? Okay. Because what the fuck I look like not talking to you for three months? And then this girl want to say, Steve then called me three months later. I was so excited. I'd be like, bitch, where the fuck have you been? fuck you get out my face what i assumed he was thinking about a relationship and decided it was time to take it to the next level what what's the next level was i get married he told me he missed me in those three months and he could have stopped thinking about me so why the fuck how old is this girl because it's getting like what are you doing one day i had an argument with my sister my dad told me to stay with her with him i told steve what happened because the way she's typing i had to skim through that basically she finally gets back home she's with her sister hanging trying to kiki with her sister her sister is just taking her slow ass time she's like what's the tea like why are you on your phone like that and the sister's like what and then the sister leaves the room with her phone she leaves the phone there like a fucking like come on leaves the phone there the sister know the past or whatever her sister's like and it's her man and her phone her phone again what do, what do we know what are we surprised about steve is disgusting so the dad beats the sister again the other one the hell the dad on some gossip and shit calls all his siblings to tell him what's going on first of all sir relax chill (laughs) so there's a whole other sister she's like checking in with everybody she's like are y'all really not gonna talk ever again basically basically because the way she was typing maybe there's a language barrier but basically steven shit he he is dating the girl and the sister at the same time and then did it again some years later come on and then the little sister keep getting her ass beat. For what? I don't know. Because it's like, it really is even shit. Here's what the comments are saying. You both need therapy. Correct. Steve needs to be banned. Steve needs to be banned from y'all's lives. Correct. Um, Steve got away easy with the absolute messes he made. He's an asshole. The family is broken as well. Beatings does nothing. Also, yeah, Steve was messing. The little sister is 20. He's 22, she's 15. Come on, a weirdo. Come on. Sorry, somebody said, Steve also has sex with the brother. Like, I was like, wait, because what are we dealing with now? Someone says Steve is probably a pedophile. All right. Here's the team. Here's my final advice. And like I said, comment below what you think. Steve needs to be cut off from the family. If the brother's still friends with Steve, cut steve off well, all three of y'all need to cut steve off number one and it's not gonna work with steve with any of y'all sorry to break it to you steve is messy steve doesn't care about boundaries steve is not a good friend is not a good boyfriend is not a good person and that's just that like i'm sorry to break it to y'all i'm sorry to give you all that advice but um steve is not the person y'all want to have around y'all period not even around y'all kids steve is not somebody you should want to have kids with period like it's kind of these stories where you're like it's kind of obvious but some people don't know some people don't know so the dad and the brother need to go beat steve's ass not the younger sister's ass and you need to let this boy go because this man because he's messy and gross and you should be there for your sister and telling her you know a little bit about age gaps and the fact that steve ain't shit like right now i have a a 10 a sister that's 10 years younger than me if for some weird because i'm 25 she's 15 if for some nasty ass reason a guy i know who's 25 reaches out to her oh i'm sending some people for him (laughs) to say that politely and, and sweet he he gonna get a knock at the door and it ain't gonna be for me it's gonna be from some men that can handle him And I'll sit my lovely sister down and explain to her why we don't do that and explain to her why that's not cute and why that's gross and fucked up. And, you know, I'm not going to compete with her. It's not going to be like that don't even cross my mind. This whole family needs therapy for real. And I truly wish you the best. What I would say is if you can move out, save up your money, move out, cut Steve out of your life and tell your brother sorry ultimatum but is steve or me you want a relationship with me or with steve i'm your sister no steve is my guy whatever okay you want that word around you fine 
You don't, I don't need to be in your life. Hit the sister up. It's me or Steve. What's up? I love Steve. Like, Steve is my boo. Okay. Well, he's a weirdo. So, you have that. Enjoy. Oh, but why? Like, we could be sisters. So, no, we can't. Like, it's really coming down the way, I think. Like, I think it's very clear why Steve is not a good person. Okay? I'm just, like, reading the comments. Yeah, there's no punishment for Steve. And the punishment to Steve is that y'all, all three, don't fuck with Steve. Because he don't deserve to be a part of your lives, period. Because he doesn't respect boundaries. He's rude. He is creepy. Like, I don't really need to give you more reasons, you know. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I always love when you click on today's videos. And, you know, you watch it all the way through, I hope. But, um. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I hope the next time you see me, I'm giving tan. No, you probably won't. It probably won't be. It'll be the video after this one. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great morning, night, weekend. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I hope this inspired you to submit to my series. Email on the screen below. And if you need to watch more videos of me to sketch a feel, see if you really want to do that, it's fine. That's fine. There's a playlist right here. I have a play. I told you I got a playlist for everything. Everything is organized on my page. So there's a whole video there. I think at this point I have up to 20 episodes. Just about. Just about. Should you have just about. And if you want to hear more of my insights, the podcast, Andrew just chat. And you can follow me on all my other socials too. I'm on there all the time. And you know, there are rules to submit, so you can watch the rules video. And it's really easy, guys. It's not that hard. And I'm here to help you. That's what I'm here to do. I'm not here to judge you. Uh, as long as you ain't Steve. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a great day, a great rest of your day. And thank you for watching. That's all I can say. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.